What is up guys, this is JT. I wanna go over a couple of things on the um, three inch saw that Rigid makes. Stop. And one of the things that I thought was gonna be a problem because I didn't realize at first is that the battery will actually get in the way when you're trying to make a cut like that. And so I was trying to figure it out. I didn't read the instructions, quit. And actually the whole head turns so that you can change. And I know it's not quite as cool as the Milwaukee, but the Milwaukee is quite a bit more. I only paid $99 for this tool and it comes with three blades. It comes with a drywall plastic blade and a metal cuff as well as a tile blade. The tile blade works very well. It does not chip out. It's anywhere near as much as a grinder does the tool is it runs really smooth and i mean really smooth the trigger on this thing is the trigger on it is amazing um, the only complaint that i could really think of besides that i thought it wouldn't do that is that this uh this piece right here is a little bit flimsy but it's not too much of an issue um and also it comes with another arbor so you put this on the inner side which is on the the opposite side of this one you put it on the inside and you can run 11 no 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 7 sixteenths so you can run 7 sixteenths and so you can put different sizes on there please stop One thing that's pretty cool is the the uh, tool is on board and it seems like after a while maybe this will become loose and fall out. So I don't know if that's an I issue in the future, but um, it's kind of hard to get out actually. There we go. So yeah, I don't know if it would ever fall out, but it could. It's got a screen right here for the intake. So I do believe you can clean that somehow. I don't know if it comes off. Yeah, it looks like it comes off. There we go. Yeah, so it comes off and you can clean it. And if we can figure out how to get it back on. Yeah, okay, Let's, hopefully that's on. Okay, it's not too hard to get on and off. You just gotta kind of figure out how to bend it and flex it. But um, I really can't think of anything negative to say on it other than depth of cut is, you know, limited by a couple of different things. Like this right here itself. And yeah, the body of it right here is going to limit your depth of cut to about, I would say, three quarters of an inch or so. Don't have a tape measure. Let me go grab one. Okay, I just measured it. The depth of cut is around 5 8 max, probably a little bit less than that. But yeah, um, this bar, it only goes up so far and it stops. And the good thing about having the tool on the, the actual tool itself is you can loosen and adjust it. Say you're doing a really shallow cut for whatever reason. Uh, that would be more like for sheet metal to, to have that very small depth of cut. But it only goes up so far. And I'm pretty sure if you loosen this all the way, you can remove this completely. But I'm not going to do that. So we got it at full depth. And we're going to tighten it down. Very simple to do, and then place the tool back. When I cut tile, I actually um, yeah, I leave it almost almost full depth, but usually I back it up just a little bit. Um, like I said, you can use uh, seven sixteenths rather than the three eighths, and then you can just use whatever three inch wheel from whatever brand will fit it so really it's a good tool um 
I'm not going to do any cuts right now, but when I did cuts on porcelain tile, it did a really, really, really good job for dry cutting. Usually when dry cutting, you're going to get a lot of chip out. This, it did not chip out hardly as much as a grinder did. And I mean a lot better than the grinder. It did a lot better than the grinder. So there's all the stuff on the tool. And I actually got this two amp hour maximum output and a four amp hour maximum output with my um, uh, half inch subcompact impact wrench with a kit. This guy right here. And it came with two batteries and a charger for 169. And I picked up this tool for 99, but you can also get this tool for I think 169 and it comes with a battery or the two batteries, the two amp and the four amp hour for 169 plus tax. So yeah, it's a good deal. Um, this is a good saw. It's not quite as good. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. It's not quite as good as the Milwaukee, but it will do the job, and it does it relatively fast. And also... Okay, here we go. Okay, had a little accent with my daughter. I'm just getting her cleaned up. Um, like I was saying, this tool is uh, very versatile. It's got one of the best trigger triggers on it that I've seen on, on tools in a long time. And I like tools that have the, um, the variable speed, like on my job max, it also has that type of trigger. It makes like, so if you're doing something small and you really need control, you just barely pull the trigger in. So it really helps to get stuff started or uh, keep it where you need it. You don't want it to go full speed like uh, a lot of tools that just have a switch on and off. That is awful. I don't like it. The light is very, very helpful and it shines just down where you need it to. The only thing I miss about rigid tools is the dedicated light switch button. It's the only thing that I'm really missing on these new, newer tools. But overall, I would give this tool a thumbs up. I think it is an amazing tool, especially for $99. It's just crazy. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And then um, I'll probably be filming some more videos on this. Thank you for watching.